Brian Raglan with the Racing Boys talking with the 2021 Silver Dollar Nationals champion of $53,000, Kyle Bronson. And I got to tell you, I'm talking with James Essex during an interview, and you were one of the names that were brought up. And I told him, I said, he's going to do Eldora. He's going to set up by and he's going to rip the lip, and that's exactly what you did. You had to throw a few sliders in there on Chase Young's, but man, when you got the lead, it, it seemed to be working for you. Yeah, that clean air is so big here. You know, when we get to the front there, just totally different race car they're driving around you know the closer we got to the front and i run second the whole race and it's really pacing myself and saving my tires there and that's i knew what you call it i knew like i said you know we got about halfway it's time to pull the trigger and go on but that clean air is so big here when i got there i just want to take care of my car and keep the tires on it and i kept thinking we was gonna have a late race caution so i wouldn't want to kill myself up there <laughs> but you know it worked out pretty good and really had to use our stuff up and kept the quarter pound on the spoiler on there all night and that's been big plus in these big races so just really looking forward to the next few about 47 left on the restart. Chase kind of dropped his angle down a little bit in one and two and kind of started running the middle when he was running high. Kind of started stretching out a little bit and then you could see your car just really starting to come back. Yeah, really, I wasn't trying to kill myself up there. I was just trying to keep the best momentum and the best speed I could without really slipping my tires there. So I just drove straight around there. It was really nice. I could enter right on that brown to right front and just drive around there like I was driving pavement or something. So it worked out really good. And I just really can't thank all the guys enough. They make my job really easy. And it's, you know, it ain't just one person who deals everybody, every part of that car, every bolt, every nut. Shoot, Tom Buckingham's standing right here. He, he's helped me a ton. Just told me 15 different things to do, and I and I believe in hard work, and I believe it pays off, and stuff like he's told me to do, and a couple other people. Man, it's paying off with everybody. Did you realize you were probably anywhere from three tenths to half second faster than the field, and you had a half lap lead? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I felt really good, and like I said, I, I don't feel like I was killing myself by no means there. Just right. kind of setting the pace of the race and driving how I wanted to drive, and it played out, and the car was really good. 2021 Silver Dollar Nationals champion Kyle Bronson. It's going to be, this is a, I, I mean, what a momentum builder it is going in for the next couple of weeks, like at, at Florence and Cedar Lake. Yes, sir. I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to get there. All right. Congratulations. We'll see you next year. Thank you, sir. Talking with Tim McCready, who comes in second place of the uh, Silver Dollar Nationals, and and man, what a run! I had I had to think before you guys came out after the modifieds. I thought the track is really coming to at the perfect time. It was racy top to bottom. You had a nice battle with Chase Youngins, and you had it up there a little bit with Kyle Bronson. But man, once he got going, he was he was clicking off. But man, what a run for you coming back deep in the field. Yeah, um, we just uh, lost side bite as the night went on, which is, we've been fighting it all weekend. And uh, thanks to uh, Stormy Scott, who uh, gave me gave me what he was doing to uh, get me competitive, um, and JD also, and all their guys. Uh, it's a uh, it's a tough deal out here, man. I'm happy for Kyle. Um, I don't think people realize how hard this guy works. Uh, drives the truck, has guys that are good crew guys, but they're not they're not. Uh, you know they're not the best of the best as far as knowledge they're all young and for to come out of florida and have to locate shops and um he deserves it I, i'm happy for him it's cool for me at my age to see guys win like that to get a big win and uh they're so excited it reminds me of how we're supposed to be when we do good leading the points in the lucas oil late models you got a couple weeks off before you guys get back on track but you have a couple races coming up that you can kind of work with and and your mindset i kind of call this the stretch run coming into the end of the season yeah, we're uh, we're looking to uh, we're not doing anything next weekend. We gotta we gotta get back in order, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, go from there. All right, congratulations, Tim McCready taking second place at Silver Dollar Nationals.